Alright, so now that you know how to create a box and manipulate strings, let's see our, our next point. Okay, so we're going to go back to the documentation. Uh, here is our documentation. And then we're going to go back to okay, landmark script, getting started and we're creating the box now. We drew the box in our, our previous video, all right? So we want to set the length of the box, okay? So there are different ways. First of all, you can create a box or you can assign it a variable or you can even assign it a variable and also determine the width, all right? So let me create the third box. I'm just moving, offsetting these. All right, so, so when I press, uh, when I, press shift enter all right so we have a box and here it is but then you can see that the the units are the same units i have here <clears throat> 20 by 20 by 20 so meaning if i create another box okay that is going to be 56 eh? 56 by maybe 70 and then press shift and enter so you can say i've created another box of that same size all right so you um um, one other thing I want to tell you about my units here in display are centimeters and that's very vital so if you change the units you just need to come here to customize and then you choose unit setup and then you choose which units you want to be displayed I like centimeters but there are others meters and whatsoever and then you can also choose to have a unit setup of what the scale is per grid all right so mine is 1.0 meaning each unit here on the grid represents 10 by 10 all right so it's 10 centimeters if i make it 0 0.1 then it will be one centimeter all right so i think i've talked about that all right so let's continue uh i want to rush through this so that we get practical all right so you can see they are telling us that it will register something in the listener and that thing is already uh, that is already registered here in the listener you can see the box has have been created all right so let me clear the listen again you just need to edit and then you select all the same as ctrl d and clear uh sorry you don't need to select all you can ctrl d and clear also here as long as i press ctrl d it's clear all right let's continue i just want to conclude this okay so we've created the box you can modify the box one um now remember I've given the box uh, a variable of my my box now let me change the variables here sorry now let me change the variable here instead of my box okay I want also to select all these instead of my box I'm going to give it my name Simon all right so I can create a box okay so let me evaluate this line Simon with that with that and then they are teaching us how to manipulate the others for example the box has properties like height okay like the name of the box like the wire color that is um, the, the color that uh, uh, and all these are within max for example let me first create the box the box is already created now i want to select the box okay so that i can change the item so i'm going to choose select okay let me first do this i'm going to do simon okay dot name is equal to simon's box simon box all right so let me evaluate that line shift enter all right so if i come to the box now its name its new name is now simon box all right so there are other things you can manipulate still i can say simon dot uh height is equal to okay uh 23 and then i evaluate that line by pressing shift enter and you can see the height has changed same for for length simon dot length is equal to 12 shift and enter now i'm evaluating the line otherwise let me do this i'm going to say simon dot width is equal to is equal to 23 and then press enter and then i say simon dot wire color is equal to 
pink i don't know if pink exists now let me evaluate all by going to tools and then i choose evaluate all same as pressing ctrl e all right so i have an error i have an error seems that i've missed something and that something could be where in the wire color or all right so it was meant to create another box for me all right it was meant to create another box for me let me first see so it created the box but it didn't change the wire color why that's why the documentation exists so wire wire color is equal to that maybe pink does not exist so if i could have typed red those rgb oh, let me see hey those rgb colors let me see red okay and then uh, again i'm going to let me change this to 34 and then evaluate all all right so you can see it has created for me a box of that color now they are saying okay if you want to evaluate a certain color okay and it is here in the documentation that is not rgb then you have to enter the color with its rgb channel all right so which is now it's going to be simon dot wire color is equal to color and then so you need to find all these in the documentation if i come back here to my um index and then i search for color okay it will give me the different color so there is the color dialog color values i'm going to click on color values and you can see they're telling me that i must type color okay so the constructor says color and then the rule remember we have something called rule so the rule must have rgb and if you want alpha you must put alpha but alpha remember the rule says that this is optional so alpha is optional you you may not need it all right so i'm going to type color and then the rule it must have rgb all right hope we're getting the documentation and then these are the default colors you can have green blue black orange yellow brown gray now i'll choose orange meaning my pink wasn't there all right so let me put maybe orange and i press shift enter so you can see it has changed to orange but otherwise i mean i'm meant to have simon okay dot wire color is equal to color color and then in brackets what do i need in the color all right i sometimes i sometimes i don't think the rules uh let me see if i type just 23 that is 23 of ara 45 of green uh, i need to space them 23 of ara 45 of green and then 12 of ara gb of blue and then let me evaluate that and see all right so you can see it has it has done that um but here in the documentation okay so this is the rule rgb and then plus alpha if i needed two uh the alpha i don't think it will exceed one but then if you come to the documentation here somewhere he put in brackets all right uh which i i'm not sure of why but it also works for example if i copy this so this means uh it will be a mixture of red and and uh, blue okay so if i copy that and put it in here all right and then i press shift and enter you can see it has changed to uh pink okay so uh, either way can work but not sure of when and which works where but i think i use the uh, this one most because it helps me get organized more all right so we, we can also go and see the position the position is using x y z coordinates okay remember we have the x y and z and uh, don't forget that max is z up all right so meaning i i i have to come and choose that simon dot pose simon dot position okay that's what it says here is equal to all right simon dot pose is equal to an array of values the array of the position now i'll, I'll move it to um by three by five centimeters and then 
press shift and enter so you can see i've moved it so uh, in the z axis i'm going to add just it again and make it 67 press shift enter all right so you can see max is z up so this one has moved up you get it eh? 67 centimeters now it's using centimeters because that's the value i have here so if you choose meters still uh, you get okay so we also have scale simon dot scale okay i don't want to avoid the documentation because i don't want people to get confused all right so we have the scale simon dot scale which is running in still the x y and z axis all right so one 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 all right now it is changing in values not the actual value for example if i come for example if i come and then i scale from here where is it so this is simon all right if i scale from here all right you see we no, we you, you're no longer changing the width and height you see the width and height and 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 and, and length is not changing but you just scaling <laughs> you get it you just scaling okay so that's why the scale is also moving in such units so i'll give it a two by one by four and then press shift and enter and that's what it has given it serves a uh, scaled for mm, 45 oh wow that's long i meant four i've scaled 45 in the z-axis that's why it was that huge 